Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I decided to film for you guys my go to face products that I use um, on a day to day basis. I figured this would be a really great video a little bit different from what i've done in the past and also i wanted to incorporate my ipsy glam bag into this video as well so i'm gonna first start off with the ipsy bag and this is for march and of course this is how the bag Comes. You guys know most of the time my bags are, I open them, I get too excited to wait. So I usually open them and kind of like browse through the products before I film this for you guys. So this is this month's bag. I think it's very, very creative because it actually comes with a set of markers inside the bag itself for you to actually decorate and I guess you could say color the bag um, and make it look unique. Um, and to suit your individuality and of course as always it comes with a card and you guys know we always start off with reading the card something fell you guys know everything every something always falls on our record for you guys this little guy was I guess was a little too excited to get out of the bag but so this month's card says create and like I said it was for March so I'm going to read um, the card for you guys. So it says, this month, turn yourself and your world into a work of art. Redecorate your space. Mash up two lipsticks to blend your own custom shade. Rethink your wardrobe. Pairing prints and combos you never usually try. Turn your Instagram pics into a real-life gallery. Dust off your guitar and start strumming. Dance, sing, sculpt, write. It's time to create your masterpiece. So this is really basically... You know the thought process behind this month's ipsy bag and i thought it was really cool um i haven't gotten a chance to decorate my bag as yet but when i do get a chance i definitely will i think it actually be very fun even though i feel like i'm not really too good um art wise but i think it would be really cool so time to show you guys what i got in my ipsy bag and i believe I'm missing a product. I can't find it. Um, Cause usually when the bag comes, I try out the products like I like I told you guys, and sometimes I even end up using them. And there was another product I got, and I can't seem to remember what it was. But I will. Um, I will definitely still list the um, the name of the product for you guys. So first thing I got in my bag, this is from Dirty Little Secret Cosmetics, and this is a highlighter. And I'm sure if you guys have watched watched some of my old videos, you guys know there's certain things that I practically always get in my Ipsy bag, and a highlighter is one of them. So I'm just gonna open this up for you guys. And this one is kind of like a copper shade. It says Soda Pop. That's the color. But it is very um, coppery. I actually think I really like this one. So I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. So you guys can kind of see, you know, what kind of shade it is. I think it's a really great shade. Very different from what I usually get. You guys know I usually get pinks and I usually... Um, get um you know gold so this is a lot different from what i normally what i normally get so this is really cool second item i got is from rodeo which you guys know i received um eyeliner from this company before in a previous ipsy bag so it's really cool that i'm you know i finally get to see a different product from them and this is a eyebrow pencil and that's in the color dark ash brown so i want to open it up for you guys just to see the consistency but it really looks like this this bad boy is sealed to perfection like i don't think he's gonna want to come out so i don't think we're gonna be able to i'm not gonna be able to swatch this one for you guys um but yeah i'm pretty sure it's a basic um um eyebrow pencil 
Next we have, uh, this is from Tarte, Tarte Cosmetics, and this is Sex Kitten, and I believe this is an eyeliner, as you guys can see, it's black. This one is practically um, a trial because this is as much as it goes out, but nevertheless, it's still um, a good way to try any product as opposed to buying it and not liking it. Uh, I will swatch this one, however. This one is kind of of a cream consistency, which is really nice. I'm all for any eyeliner that glides on your skin. I really don't like anything that I have to tug too much. So that's um, a bonus for me. Now we have a skin product. This is from the company Trufora. It's a triple action exfoliator. Um, I'm very excited to use this. As you guys know, I really love skin products. And I'm kind of happy that I got something face-wise because it kind of ties up into what I'm planning to talk to you guys about as far as my skincare products in this video. So um, that's the other product. And there was another product, like I mentioned to you guys before, that I got in my Ipsy bag. And I'm so sorry, guys, but I just can't find the product. I don't know what I did with it. But like I said, usually in my Ipsy bags, I don't, um, I don't believe I usually list my items that I get from my Ipsy bag because I do show them to you guys in the video. But for the sake of this video, because I couldn't find the, the fifth product, I will list them down for you guys so you guys can see what the fifth product was. So that way you guys are not completely left out. So that way, you know, you guys got to see exactly what I got. So moving aside from the Ipsy bag. So that's what I got this month. I'm very happy with what I got. I'm looking forward to April and I believe I already got the email kind of giving me a hint as to what I'm going to get. So stay tuned for that video next month. Um, but for today's video, like I told you guys, I, I am going to be talking about my go-to skincare products. And these are things I use whether it's during the day or at night time but somewhere or another they tie into my skin routine one way or another and i really really love these products and if for those of you guys who are probably new i have acne prone skin so i really like taking care of my skin and i don't really dip and dab in a lot of different products because i find that it kind of um makes it harder to take care of your skin if that makes any sense so i usually stick to what works once i find a really good product and for me these are the ones that really work for me and i am going to also incorporate one or two that are new um and most of them are from my ipsy bag that i've grown to really really love and plan to keep buying in the future so to start off i mentioned this to you guys in one of my videos i believe it was the video um in reference to oily skin this is the noxema classic clean on uh, moisturizing cleansing cream this is my go-to cream if i open it for you guys you guys can see it's practically empty so that guys that way you guys know i actually do use it on a daily basis this is something that i that i use immediately after removing my makeup um using my makeup wipes and this is what I use to cleanse my skin. Uh, I feel like it makes my skin feel very, very soft. And um, it does a good job with giving me like a fresh clean after. Um, in the event that it, do it doesn't take off, it doesn't take off as much of the grime and the dirt as I would like. I usually go in after with a scrub. And I have a... I have two of them here that are my go-to ones. So I have, this is the uh, from Global Beauty Care Dead, Dead Sea Wash Off Mask. And this was another item I got in a couple Ipsy bags ago. And this is a really good mask. I've used it maybe I would say four or five times. And I actually still have a couple of uses in there because it's kind of like a black mask. There's a picture on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you basically put it on, you leave it for 15 minutes, and then you wash it off. But this does a really good job with getting into your pores and getting out all the unnecessary gunk that you don't want uh, to stay in your skin. This other um, one I have is from the company, 
I hope I'm saying this right, Kadaj Paris. It's um, scrubbing cream. And I just recently got this um, in one of my other Ipsy bags. And it says on here it's for all skin types, which is what I really, really love. And this works really good. It's, it's an actual scrub, guys. Like, it has the beads and everything in it. And it's really good at cleansing your skin. So most times on a day-to-day -day basis, I will go in with my Noxema. And then I would either use one of these items. It is, and not necessarily this um, mask. It could be any mask in general. And I use my scrubbing cream. Another mask that I really like. Uh, and I did see a video for this um, on social media prior to me getting it. And I actually keep seeing the video on a regular basis. And this is from the company Sand and Sky. And it's a uh, brilliant, it's a detoxify and brightening purifying pink clay mask and this works really really good in terms of making your pores smaller this is like a really good mask if you have issues with your pores and you you're looking to get deep into your skin and toggle and and ta um, tackle that then this is really going to help you um next thing i use um i don't usually use night creams but this is a detox cream from Nukes Paris, um, and it's a, and it's basically smooths, rejuvenates, revives dull complexion, detoxifying and youth revealing anti aging care. So usually after I go through the previous steps that I just mentioned to you guys, I go in with this, um, with this cream on top of my skin, and this is what I leave on throughout the night to have my skin doing its thing. So I can wake up um, in the morning with um, a better canvas, uh, let's put it that way, to put my makeup on in the morning. And I find that this really, really um, helps a lot. Then I also got my this Clinique Hydrator, a 72-hour auto-replenishing hydrator, and one of my other Ipsy bags. And I am super in love with this. Like, I... I don't know if you guys saw my video with this product in my Ipsy bag when I was really a little bit skeptical about this because it is a hydrator and I don't normally use hydrators because I feel like my skin has so much moisture already that anything to do with hydrating it is just kind of going to make my problem worse. So I was skeptical, but however, this does exactly what I would have wanted to do and and not and for some weird reason i don't know why i thought it wasn't going to work but it actually really changed my mind and as a matter of fact i looked into a couple of things online and for my um under eye problems that i normally have i actually read something that said basically um any under eye problems you might have it could be because your skin is not hydrated enough so this has really um, made a change in my skin since I have been using it. So I definitely will be purchasing purchasing this again. And this is something I use. I, I'll put my moisturizer on um, prior to doing my makeup. And then I will go in right after with this. And I would let it sink in before I put on my primer. And I feel like it's worked really great for me for the past couple of weeks. And as you guys can see, it's practically almost finished. So I actually really like that. And I, I, I love when I find products that I can incorporate to my routine that I have going on already that actually works and doesn't kind of mess up um, what, I, what I'm what i trying to do with my skin. So that's always a bonus. Um, and these are, this is a peeling gel. That I use. This is from the company. It's called, well, it says here, Obey Your Body Radiance Repair Peeling Gel. Um, this is a really good product. I don't even know where to tell you guys where you can get this, but I really like this. This basically takes off all the dead skin from your face. You can use it on your hands. It's a very good product. I came across this years ago in um, going shopping in the mall and they had one of these booths and someone was selling this and it kind of was a package and this 
this helped my skin so much and it's practically done because it's kind of like a vacuum tube so as you guys can see it's all the way on the top already so i am in the process of trying to figure out where i can find it um i haven't gone back to the place i bought it originally but um just in the event that I'm not able to get it there I've been trying to find it online but this is a really good product also that you can incorporate with um, your scrubs and everything to really deep clean your face um, along with it it came with a moisturizer which was a moisture intense day cream with SPF 15 which I really liked and this this I already um, finished but it comes in a little container like this and it's a really cute cream. This overall was supposed to last me two years, which I believe it did. Because like I told you guys, I've had it for a very long time. Um, so mine is all finished. But if you're really looking, this is these two products are kind of more in the high end. Um, yeah, they're more high end as opposed to, you know, your regular drugstore. But if you are looking for something that's really good then I would definitely recommend these two products to you. And also, to go along with everything that we just mentioned, I would highly advise that you have um, some kind of tool to go along with your routine to uh, make getting into your skin a lot easier. So I uh, came across this brush uh, around the time when I was using Proactive um, because that's kind of what I first started off with in my skincare routine and um i kind of branched off away from that and now whatever i have that i use has really been working really well for my skin so i do still use the brush i use it along with my scrubs if i feel like the, my hand motions are not working as good <laughs> if you guys heard that noise it's just my dog he was just shaking um so, yeah, so I use it along with my um, scrubs or, um, you know, to massage my mask into my face or even with the Noxzema, which is what I use it the most with to kind of really get in there and get all that stuff um, off of my skin. So those re work really well together. So I just wanted to share with you guys what it is that I use and exactly, you know, um, how good the products are and what I would recommend in reference to my situation because as always everybody's skincare um, routine and your regimen and your skin in general will be different so products you products I use will not might not work for you so I am just giving you guys my tips on what I use um, and if you guys see something that you feel like will work with your skin then you can incorporate it into your everyday routine so uh, thank you guys so much for watching as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, if you're not part of my channel's family yet then you guys can subscribe um, so that way you can see everything I have coming out for you guys I do post videos on a weekly basis so you guys can stay tuned for whatever I have coming up next so I hope you guys have a great day today and I'll see you guys on my next video